Hi, my name is Sarah and I recently started 3D printing and designing stuff in Fusion 360. And I'm so thrilled about it that I have to show you today what I made. And it is a little detail part that is very useful for us O-Scalers because it is a Youngstown door company door for the Intermountain plastic injection box cars that we all have in our basements and I will show you what I did and how you can make use of it. This is my website trainkitchen.com where I show who I am and what I'm doing in Proto48 and I have here up here the download section click on that and there are the files that I have already uploaded for example here the camera door hardware separate from the door and also I am working on Krakow door hardware right now and I will upload the door in this section so feel free to download it and use it and I'm totally happy if you, if you use my design. Today is a rainy day here in Austria and that is a perfect day to show you what I did in Fusion 360. Here we are in the program and you can see the Youngstown door with its ribs, very characteristic for the steam era and the transition era. And it is constructed like the prototype out of one, two, three sections of, of sheet material that is riveted here together and I put all uh, the details uh, into the design that I saw on photos and uh, according to the plans I have I think this is a very accurate representation of one of these doors. What you can see here now is the hardware is in place. When you print it you will find a door without hardware but uh, the starter here and the, and the, um, the latch will be in place, uh, it turned out they print very well and the other stuff I just left uh, in a separate file because uh, you can simply print them out separately and glue them in place and so I left holes here and these holes will maybe fill a little bit with resin so you have uh, to drill them out again but I designed it so you will find them and this is the most important thing to have the right correct position and then you take a little drill bit and clear the holes out again then in go uh, the door hangers the number 50 camel door hangers very delicate part um, and also the handle here and the small side handle and then the door is complete and I wish you good luck with printing it and you will have a lot of fun gluing the little parts together. What you can see here is the so-called weather nose. Here I mark it in blue so you know what I'm talking about and that part would be actually attached to the door frame rather than the door itself and would stay in place when you would open the door it would stay on the frame and to the right the door would slide away but since I attached it to the door you cannot open the door should you wish to display an open door that would be another file that I will upload one day I hope soon because it's it's not correct to to have the door frame part on the open door of course and what I did is um, this gap here between between these two parts this gap is working out on my Elego Saturn I print I could print that it's this tiny this is really not much and uh, I designed it so it, it prints well. In, in reality these two surfaces would be just a little bit closer together but this is just optimized for having a printable design.
just as important as the design software of course is the slicing software and I am using lychee slicer with great success um, I like the program a lot and uh, I even went so far to get the pro version because then I can measure uh, live measurements uh, that is very helpful when you when you print something that is uh, actually from another scale and you want to scale it up or down to the size that you want but uh, the free version enables you to have uh, all, all the functions that you really need like auto support here when I use auto support then uh, it will look something like that but it has a weak spot and that is the, the very first layer of your actual print down here in that orientation uh, that is going to be a little bit bad uh, supported in my opinion so what I do here is I add uh, many many uh, supports by hand additionally to the auto supports here so when we when we when we go to the prepare section then we can we can zoom in hopefully zoom in and there you can see the yellow surfaces as those who really need support uh, and what you can see here is that I really supported it a lot um, so this is the very first layer make sure that you have it um, quite heavily supported and your print will turn out perfectly good let's have a quick word about orientation and positioning of the file um, what I usually do is I move it up for seven millimeters and give it a spin on around the X axle of about 60 degrees and what you can see now is that uh, the file is very high it out. and this will take a lot of time to print there are maybe other solutions you could orient it in a different way to save time but I did it for a certain purpose because I found that the weather knows detail here the little groove that you can see here these parts they will print in this orientation the best it is important that we set up our machine to only 25 microns which is very very exact and uh, we do that by clicking on resin and here you can see I have the LU Saturn uh, as my printer and you can add resin that you use I already did that of course I am using the Allegoo water washable uh, and here you can edit the, uh, the thickness the layering height and it is just 25 microns in my case and it ensures a perfect print all right let's actually print stuff
time to clean up the parts and to drill out the holes. Please note that I'm using two different drill sizes here, one small to make the initial hole and then a bigger one to widen it out a bit. I am just about to start with all this stuff and the plan is to have a little bit of a well, small library of 3D parts that can be printed out on my website. Uh, that's drainkitchen.com. On the download section you can find these parts and feel free to download them and uh, I'm perfectly happy if you are having a good time and can use my designs because that's what I what I designed them for and of course for myself and for my future layout that I am going to work on for the rest of my life. So uh, have a nice day, have a nice night, have a nice week, take care and we meet again in the future. <laughs>